R. Ken Turner. Hey, who is R. Ken Turner and, and what do you do, man? R. Ken, man, the Reverend R. Ken and R. Ken both are people that have a commitment, man, to uh, helping, teaching, and sharing. And uh, even before I knew it, I was doing it. So I have committed to be a part of, be cooperative in the helping. I help folks with truth, man, with truth. That's what I teach. I teach truth. I teach that you are, whoever you are, whoever's watching, wherever you are, whatever color, gender, whatever your situation is, you are a divine being in the conversation. Anything less than that is a lie. Anything less than that is a lie. I teach that because you are a divine being, there's a oneness with the divine that you are already attached to, you are part of. Anything less than that is a lie. Anything other than that is a lie. I'm not saying it's wrong. I'm just telling you it's a straight out lie. Now, I don't, I don't know who does what lies. I don't know where they come from. I'm not going to get into denominations and teachers of things that are not true. I'm merely telling you that what I'm about is the truth. And the truth has to uplift a human being. So if you're dealing with anything in your life that's bringing you down, any type of teachings that are telling you that you are less than divine, any type of teachings that tell you you are less than a child of the divine, any type of teachings at all that tell you that you need to do three times, flip three times, jump up and down and click your heels in order for you to be approved by that which has created you, I'm merely saying emphatically that's a lie. <laughs> that's it. So that's who I am. I'm the brother that tries with all this heart, with everything about him to bring forth the truth in his life and in the lives of others. And it's not necessarily an easy job, Mark. Uh, those viewers who are watching this here in Chicago, television here in Chicago, and also um, in the, via the internet around the world, everybody has challenges. If they're facing a challenge, not, not enough money, not enough love, children are crazy, love life going down the drain, how do we s solve our problems, our challenges in our lives? Man, that's, that's excellent. And I say it's excellent. I, you know, I had the misfortune of losing a son. And in my face, I had to make that work for me. I had to deal with the questions that any parent would have on losing a son. I had to realize that he made certain decisions that put him in a certain situation. But at the same time, I had to have a certain level of compassion that he was not there anymore, that he had children that would not see him anymore, that he had a mother who would miss him. So there's a balance there. Say, so, well, what does that have to do with the question, which was, how do we work through our situations? We have to work through the situations with truth. That's, that's, it's that simple. It doesn't matter where I am at a given point, what's going on in my life at a given point, I have to know the truth. And as long as I can go back, pull up the truth in my life, and then move forward based on the truth, I have an opportunity to overcome whatever it is I'm facing. What does that mean? If I know that I am one with the divine, that the God, the thing that I call whatever as a supreme being is not against me, is not creating obstacles for me, is not trying to defeat me, that there's no battle going on in my life, then I come down to, well, what is it that I can do then if there's nothing out here against me, if there's no force against me, what is it that I can do to become one with this force and move forward and smooth, have a smooth life? And, and that, that becomes a challenge. What is it that I have to do? Well, I have to know the truth again. I, you know, I keep going back to that. I have to know that I am one with this divine. I have to know that the divine is for all good. I have to know that. I have no money in my bank account. How does that affect me? I have to know that the appearance of no money in my bank account is a temporary situation. That there is no lack of money. There, be, there may be a lack of my consciousness to allow money to be in my life. But there is no lack of money, there is no lack of health, there is no lack of success, there is no lack. And once I understand that there is no lack, then I, again it comes back to me, how do I put myself in a position to experience the money, the health, the wealth? How do I do that? And we do that by allowing truth to be an aspect of our life, allowing the knowing that I am one with, that the one is all good, that it has no desire to defeat me, to stand against me, there are no forces going on, there's a battle and I'm going to be the prize. None of that stuff is truth. None of it's truth. And, and you know, and that's how we overcome. 
Yeah, what we overcome, but we want to overcome instantly <laughs> because, you know, I'm in the process of losing 20, 25 pounds myself and I would like for it to go away in, in a day. But our problems won't, won't, won't go away in a day. Well, some will, but most of them won't. It takes time, so we're impatient. So how do we, you know, just, just calm down and say, hey, it may take a little time for these problems to go away, but they will go away. We can have instant. We can have instant gratification. We can have our problems go away instantly. We can change everything instantly, as, as long as we're willing to change our thought and, and our feelings, our thinking, our thought process, and our feelings, which is really our consciousness. If you can change that in a day, you can change your life in a day. It just so happens that the consciousness that we now possess, the way that we think, the way that we feel, the way that we react right now, did not develop over a day. It didn't come one day. It came over a period of time, a period of wrong thoughts, of incorrect thoughts, a period of listening to things that weren't true. So if you think that all of a sudden you're going to pray to somebody, that you're going to bow down to somebody, that you're going to kiss a cross or a crucifix, and it's going to change for you, I'm merely telling you that at best it's a temporary situation. At best. If you want permanent change, permanent change comes from within, not from without. And when you go inside, there's a lot of work to do. So your work may be a day, your work may be a week, your work may be a year, my work may be two years, you know. But the point of the matter is, when we do the work, that gratification is instant, and it is lasting. It doesn't just come and sit there for a moment and it's gone away. It's not fleeting, it's lasting. But you do have to change the way you think, the way you feel, the way you are. Mr. Turner, what can we do today other than calling you <laughs> or emailing you and getting in contact with you? What can we do today or this evening to, um, to make a change, to, to begin the process of healing, to improving or, or obtaining a life that is more abundant? There are two things we can do. If you are a believer of any divinity, of any particular practice, Look at your practice for the positive teachings that that practice brings to the table because they all have a positive impact within them. But sometimes those that purvey the teachings like to emphasize the negatives, the, 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 the parts that make you fall in line, that, that, that make you weak. So you need to go read it yourself and see where the positive is. There's so many teachers of the Buddha, of Jesus, uh, in the Quran, uh, of, uh, of Allah. There's just so many teachers that talk about how we are divine, how we are here to experience the good life. So that's number one. That's the first thing we can do. Go back and look at our teachings. And if we don't have any teachers, understand that it doesn't make sense to be created by any entity that's standing up there saying, let me see how I can cra crush you, crash you, stop you, dis disintegrate you. That, that, you know, th logically, let's go upon, about this thing logically. Why would anything that has created a thing decide that it wants to destroy it? The only people that do, only entities that do that are people. We do that stuff. So that's number one. Number two is you have to believe that you can change your life. There are no changes that take place in anyone's life right now, today, at this moment, without the belief that you can change. 